What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Paul. I make videos about Japanese society, life and culture from the viewpoint of a long-term foreign resident. 20 years in Japan now and this is just a short midweek video where I'm going to share with you three things mostly for foreign tourists coming to Japan. So if that's you, listen up. But there's so many influencers and YouTube videos out there telling you what not to do in Japan and what you should do in Japan in terms of manners and rules. And I'm here to tell you that there are three that are often mentioned that as a foreigner you really don't need to care about. So these are three rules that as a foreign visitor you can go ahead and break but if you're Japanese you probably can. not So the first one of those is you'll often hear that sunglasses are a no-no in Japan. The Japanese don't wear sunglasses and it's seen as kind of like you're drawing attention to yourself like Students will say that like you're you're trying really hard to look cool if you're a Japanese person wearing sunglasses and it might even get you associated with being trying to look like you're a member of uh, anti-social forces as in like organized crime and maybe if you are Japanese or look Japanese people will think this of you but if you are someone who doesn't physically look Japanese like if you're white, black, Hispanic, etc., or of an Asian country that you don't really look East Asian, people are not going to care that you're wearing sunglasses in Japan. Basically, they have this image already that sunglasses are just a part of foreign fashion culture. And so those aforementioned problems, like you're trying too hard to look cool, or you might be a member of organized crime, they're not gonna think that about you. I've had this conversation with my students and they're all like, yeah, it's totally normal. We just think of foreigners as wearing sunglasses, so it's not weird at all. And why that would be a rule for foreigners is ridiculous. So if you come to Japan, don't be afraid to wear your sunglasses. The second thing is very similar, and that is tattoos. Yes, there is a stigma against tattoos in Japan. And yes, if you try to go to certain hot spring resorts, or to certain gyms in Japan, they will ask you to cover up tattoos or they won't allow you at all. There definitely is a no tattoo rule in a lot of places, but if you're here as a tourist and you're just going around on the street and you're just tooling around Japan and enjoying yourself, again, like the sunglasses, tattoos are just seen as like acceptable in foreign countries, foreigners have them, and you're not held to this same kind of societal, you know, granny stare like what are you doing why do you have those tattoos like oh it's a foreigner they're that's just what they do they're not japanese we don't care so you don't need to feel self-conscious about your tattoos at all if you're in japan again the only problem is if you want to go to hot springs you'll have to find one where they don't have a rule or where they will allow you to cover it up and probably the other obvious thing to mention here is there is this again connection of tattoos with organized crime in Japan but guess what if a Japanese person sees me this white guy <laughs> with tattoos they're not gonna immediately think oh he must be a member of one of the Japanese organized crime groups like that's not gonna happen obviously so yeah don't worry about your tattoos the third and final rule that you'll sometimes hear people talk about that I don't think you need to is don't show too much skin or dress more modestly. And again, it's true that Japanese dress pretty modestly. You don't see as many bare shoulders, midriffs, like the kind of tank tops or crop tops, etc., are not part of the typical Japanese fashion. Although I would say crop tops have become more commonplace now than they used to be. But while Japanese will kind of adhere to this a little more chaste looking less skin showing fashion if you're here especially in the summertime and you just want to be comfortable and you want to wear short pants and you want to have bare shoulders go ahead and do it even if you're visiting a shrine it's not they're not going to look at you and be like that foreigner isn't covering up it's not the same level of religious respect that you might have to show if you go to the vatican or you are going to a mosque or something it's just it's really not the same thing and there might be some temples that if you go inside they'll want you to cover up um, I've heard of this but never actually seen or experienced this personally so I can't 
speak to that. If you've had this experience, let us know in the comments below. But generally speaking, don't worry about showing a little more skin in Japan because again, like the sunglasses, the tattoos, you're a foreigner, you're a foreign tourist, they're not going to be putting the same strict societal pressure on you to dress a certain way as the rest of the Japanese. So those are three things that you really don't need to worry about if you come here as a tourist and just enjoy yourself. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna continue wearing short pants in the summer and I live here. I know it's not fashionable. There is the truth that if you're trying to pick up young ladies as a guy and you're wearing short pants and you have sunglasses on, uh, you'll probably have less success than you might otherwise. But that aside, just be comfortable, be yourself and enjoy your time in Japan. Thanks for watching the video. Please watch for my videos every Friday night America time or Saturday morning Japan time. I drop a video regularly every week and every few weeks I do a midweek video like this. So subscribe for more, hit the notifications bell and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.